So recently, I had to go to a friend's place to help fix their computer. I had seen the computer once before since it had stopped working. All I knew is, is it, it was overheating, presumably, and the CPU fan wasn't spinning. It looked like there might be a few issues past that, but I just wasn't sure. So in this video, I went and figured it out and managed to get the computer working. I'm going to show you how I did it, the troubleshooting, the changes I made. It was a lot of fun. I got to do it with my friend, and I hope you enjoy the video. The very first thing I want to do is cold boot. Still nothing by the fan, but we do get an output. So, yep, yeah, okay. Pretty much what we had last time. Nothing by the fan, still getting an output. Do we turn it off now? Yeah, look, before we do anything. There's a few troubleshooting things I want to do then. Number one is one of my spare fans. The first thing we want to check is if it's the motherboard that won't make the fan spin. Mm. So, what we're going to do, right, right, is. Where's your other fan header? There it is. Chuck another fan in. He's probably removing his hand, their fingers from the fan blades. Oh, it's not spinning. It's not spinning, that makes it okay. That's a good sign, that's a very good sign. That it works? The motherboard's fine. Alright, so then it would just be that fan. Yep, yeah, I think it's... I don't know what that sound was and I don't want to know. <laughs> this should be a pretty simple procedure. It should just be a cooler swap. I also probably still need a fan or else it's still going to die. Yeah, so I'm still going to put fans in, but... I think, you know, you can, I think you can only put one in. There's only yeah. one exit. Oh, and it's not even a big one. Wait a second. What? I don't have a fan of that size with me. I've only got the big fans. <laughs> Damn it. Okay. All there is the big fans. I don't have any small... Oh, I might have a small fan. So I can turn my computer into not an oven. <laughs> You've got no case cooling. The thermal paste ain't great left on that. So we, we had this generic core on it. I'm going to switch it for a stock Intel because it's quite bottom and just all I had lying around. I'm also going to wipe off the thermal paste off this so I can repaste it. Here is the machine itself. We've got the RTX 2060 in there. The CPU socket. What should we call it? One dim of RAM, hard drive. It looks like it's an Acer pre-built motherboard, but I might be wrong on that. It's not a bad little machine. It needs an SSD, but overall. Yeah, so apparently it's illegal the way you park. What have I done? The way you park. This, my friend, is your CPU, your processor. When do I get to see it clean? In just a moment. Core i7, i7-7-100. Um, hmm. It's actually clean now. Just show it to the camera just to be safe. <laughs> yeah, let's make it. And we are about to go dirty it back up with more thermal paste. Process is back in the socket. Now we've just got to get the fan on. No, not quite. Not quite? Uh-oh. -uh. What? We're going to have to take the motherboard out. Why? So, you know how the other um, one you screw in? Mm -hmm. This one is not a screwing one. It fits the same holes, but it's not a screwing one. Oh no. So we've got to get rid of these spokes. Essentially by just pushing them through. But you can't push them through if there's something behind it, can you? Wouldn't that break the motherboard? No, it's a separate unit. So would you be able to put them back in if needed? Yeah, easy. This is an easy little procedure. It's child's play. Why is this even useful? Which one? This. Oh, it's a fan splitter. A fan splitter. I didn't know how many spots you had on your motherboard. And you, and you realize there's one that doesn't even fit a fan. But yeah. So I figured if I put two fans in, I would, might need a splitter. But it, it's looking like I might not be able to put any fans in, so... Your RTX good, sir? I swear you shouldn't be using a metal screwdriver for this. What screwdriver do you want me to use? A plastic one? Yeah. They don't exist. Not really. There's insulated screwdrivers, but... Probably should be using one of them. Don't have one on me. I don't think a lot of guests say that you don't either. Something about it gives me pre-built vibes. So... It was originally pre-built. Yeah, okay. I thought so. Can I say I'm built different? Uh, did so you... is this apparently? Is it? So is this apparently? Did you put it in a new case by chance? Or is this the old case? This is the old case. Oh, this is the old case. Oh, interesting. Yeah, this was the pre-built case. Interesting. Is this glued on? So the issue we've got, right, is this can come off. 
but it looks like because it's a pre-built and pre-built are really anti-consumer, they've glued it on. There we go, there we go, there we go. With that, tech support to Hero. Ah! But, yep, alright, it doesn't work. So yeah, it's just as simple as the fan. Problem solved. I don't want to say problem solved until we've got it up and running. Problem semi-solved. But it should, at least we've diagnosed it. Diagnosed it with fan cancer. And with that, I have uncancered your fan. Woo! With a brand new fan. Well, We're going to do something dodgy. Well, so, this cable is physically not long enough to reach the motherboard header. Oh. So, which means, normally means you can't put it in, right? But so, we're well, not with add length. The extender? The fan splitter. Yeah, nothing. Even though you're only putting one fan on the splitter, we're going to have to just for length. Just the best tech support. Anyway, if you go to anyone else for tech support ever, I'm gonna be personally offended. What if it's my older sister? Uh -huh. What if it's my older sister? Is your older sister a person? Yes. Then I'm gonna be personally offended. You might notice your computer is a little bit louder, because, well, there's another fan in there. Yeah. But I'll tell you this much. One, you'll barely notice it. And two, for the difference it'll make in cooling, it's worth it. And you've got Star Wars stickers on it. That's not a good thing. You didn't get this graphic card brand new, brand new, did you? I got it from my older sister. Cool, it's a, it's a little faulty. Heads up. <laughs> it's not turning on. I don't see red light. What did you? I, you might have left something unconnected. Yeah, I'm thinking that's the case. Oh, oh yeah, I see exactly what I'm... I made a stupid mistake, a really stupid, dumb mistake. What? Did you assemble it upside down? No, I left out the biggest connect. <laughs> yeah, I think that might help. Yeah, probably. Do do do, it's got light. There we go. Fan spinning. We're gonna need zip ties though. Alright, I'll see if we have any. That's not good. What? What's happening? Got my foot caught on the cable. Simple fixes. I've done a plenty of complicated builds and fixes, so sometimes it's not nice it's to just have a simple CPU switch, CPU core switch. I haven't set everything up. I've only plugged in the keyboard and mouse, but oh my god, it's so slow in the SSD. Seems to be running fine. Do you notice a frames difference at all? No. No. Try turning up the graphics. They turned it up to very high. There, yeah, it looks better. Still no frame issues. The Blammo seems to be running fine. Oh. You were saying. Oh, crikey. Okay. Your temps... Okay, your temps definitely got high. And then as you can see, we got the computer running. The graphics card, one of the fans, still wouldn't spin. But the thermals didn't seem too bad, so we decided to leave it. But, overall, it's working. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like and subscribe. That would help out a ton. Make sure to, if you want to see some of my other content, make sure to click one of the buttons on screen now. And comment down below. When you have a tech support issue, who do you go to? Do you look at online tutorials or do you have a tech support friend? Anyway, I hope you enjoyed and bye-bye.